Hi everyone and welcome back to the fairy tale family. I'm Chelsea and our goal is to put a little bit of magic into your every day. Today I am extra excited to be coming to you because it's our first holiday content and to celebrate that I am in my fleece snowman jammies, because why not? I figured if we're going to be getting into the holidays, I'm going to embrace it with the letterboard, with the jammies. There's going to be decor going up very soon. Mark brought all of the Christmas totes down from the attic today, so they're all currently sitting right over here. There's at least 14 of them, just pushed organized to the side so that way I can go through them um, during this week which I'm so excited about so anyway we're coming to you with our first Christmas content and it is a holiday gift guide for grandparents so I am going to link the blog below that I wrote about this but I thought I could also touch upon some of my favorite holiday item suggestions for grandparents today and there is a free holiday gift guide link below if you want to see what all eight of them look like with the links as to where to get them I will put that right below but I wanted to show you some of my favorites today as well so I'm going to start with the one that I think probably makes the most sense and that grandparents everywhere would be thrilled to receive. So I have been working with a company called Niveo, um, which is a mobile app that is based in photos. So I'm going to put up an image here or a video here of me showing you what Niveo looks like and how to use it. But essentially Niveo is a mobile app that allows you to create a monthly paper photo album that will gather photos and captions from your family that automatically at midnight on the last day of the month prints your photos into a paper photo album and mails it out for you. So rather than having like an open Google shared photo or using like a social platform like Facebook to share all of your images with grandparents. This will send them your curated photos from the month in a paper photo album. So let me show you. I've made an account both for me as well as for my mother and I will input a clip here too of her receiving her first photo album from me and Callie and Mark, of course, but mostly it's pictures of Callie. So this is what, let's see, this is what September looks like. It comes in a paper envelope like this, and you'll notice that the company name is on the top. And then when you get your actual photo album, it's going to highlight some of the photos inside. Now this one says me on the top because that's how I labeled my own, but my mom says Mimi and Grimpies on it right across the top. So. In here, it'll say on the top two, it'll say like photos for the month and the year. And in here, it's going to print for you this little booklet of photos that you can create captions for or you can go back and write in. And I really like that portion because it's not necessarily just pulling your captions from Instagram. You can be adding your own captions, but then you can also like go back and have your child kind of explain the memories to you or to their grandparents um, and include include that information, which I think is very sweet because sometimes captions, like you're creating them and they're cute and funny and witty, but they may not translate. So you can add up to, I believe 50 photos, but like, you know, really just very cute. So we have ours for September and then recently got ours for October as well. Um, and this was a special one because October is Callie's birthday. So I added more captions in this one. Um, but I also like that like there are spots here for me that Callie can go back and add her own images and words. I think that's very sweet. So these would stack up nicely for a year 
right? The other idea I had for these um, that kind of goes with one of the other photo suggestions as a gift guide is that you could photograph all of your children's artwork and then include it in photos in these little paper photo albums. That way you could recycle it. Am I a bad parent? Because I don't want bins and bins of preschool art. Maybe, maybe. But I thought you could, you could do that with this as well. So this is just the perfect gift for grandparents. And specifically, I think about my sister-in-law um, and her daughter, my niece, and her parents who live in North Carolina, um, that they don't often get to see every single picture taken of Remy so that she could be uploading them into this album. And then once a month, they would be receiving a paper copy at the end of every month. I love the automation. The app is super easy to use and it's quite affordable. So I personally think like Naveo is the gift for grandparents this year. Um, I know we will be gifting a subscription to my in-laws. Surprise, Craig's, if you're watching this. But what I'm most excited about here is that Naveo is offering you, my viewers, my readers, my audience, a chance to try this one month for free. So I'm going to include the link below, but what you need to know is that the code is the fairy tale family, all one word, and this will allow you to try Naveo either for yourself as a parent or to gift to a grandparent for one month for free. So. Personally, I think that would be a fantastic Christmas gift is to get all of your November photos in order and then have this shipped to them. So all you have to do is upload the photos and if you want to include captions, you can. You include who it's going to and the address and Naveo will do that work for you. So links in description box for where to go, what code to use to get that free month, and of course to our gift guide. But that is my first, that's my first big one, right? Is this incredible photo album opportunity? I know there are other companies who do similar things, but they are a lot more costly and not as easy to use. I love the mailing aspect of this, that it happens automatically. So Naveo, gift option number one. So some of the other gift ideas I have for grandparents include something that we bought for my dad last year, which is an ancestry kit. We used 23andMe um, when it went on sale, and I believe it's actually on sale right now, but ancestry has one. We're Portuguese, and this actually confirmed that, um, that we are very heavily Portuguese. Um, and in the Portuguese culture, family is incredibly important. And I know that's true of a lot of heritages, um, but my dad is like the family guy. We make a joke of it, actually. He has signs in his house and in our cabin in Maine that say family is everything. And that rings so true for Mr. Richie Goulart, my father. So we wanted to kind of give him the opportunity to look at his family background. So we went with 23andMe. He didn't do it until recently um, because that's kind of how he rolls, but that was a hit of a gift because it's personalized. This is for the man who has everything. If he's gonna choose something to, to get for himself, he'll be like a Lowe's gift card or a Bass Pro gift card. How many Bass Pro gift cards does one man need? Are you buying the entire retail store, dad? Why? Also, boring. I like to give personalized gifts. If really what deep within your soul you want is a Bass Pro gift card, fine. But if I can find something for you that like speaks my love language for you, I will. And I feel like the DNA kit kind of did that. I think it's an interesting gift to give really any adult. Um, but if you're looking for that grandparent, specifically a grandfather, who has everything and needs nothing, then this doesn't, sorry, hiccups. This doesn't provide clutter. It gives really interesting information and it's not something they have to go out and purchase themselves. So that's high up on my list too. Um, another high up on my list option is something cozy. Now, there are those who will argue 
that cozy things are generic. And when I say cozy things, I mean like high quality bathrobes, slippers, pajamas, blankets, even a candle. I, I'm not about that those are generic gift life. I think anyone and I'm thinking particularly of my mother-in-law would love a beautiful like blanket candle slipper set because those are little luxuries that we often don't buy ourselves, right? So she's here. My mother-in-law is here physically in our house a lot because she takes care of Callie a couple of days a week for us, which we're incredibly appreciative of. So for her to have like either, even a duplicate set of super cozy slippers, um, a nice chenille fabric blanket that is like not for Callie to use because it's not the color that a child should be using. And I'm thinking like an off-white cream with a beautiful candle. Jo Malone makes incredible candles, but you're not dropping that kind of money on yourself. So I firmly disagree with the cozy equals generic. I think if you're picking out a candle set and a color and a size or pattern for slippers or a bathrobe even, that you're really putting some thought into that. A couple of years ago for Mark, I bought him L.L. Bean, like this tartan plaid slipper, and my sister got him a bathrobe that's monogrammed. He still uses those. It's years later. Actually, the slippers, they're right over here. Right? Like these are so nice. They're shirling inside. Yeah, they were a little expensive, but they were one of his main presents. Oh, they're vineyard vines. They're not LL Bean. Although LL Bean is kind of my go to slipper place, but for Mark, vineyard vines speaks his language. It's his brand. That makes total sense. And then my sister did get him the LL Bean um, bathrobe with his little name in the corner. It's super cute. And he wears it every night, especially in, in chillier months. So I'm all about. I'm all about practical items, but that are personalized to who will be using them. And then my last suggestion, there are five more in the gift guide, by the way, but I just wanted to highlight my top three would be tickets to some type of experience. So this is much more personalized, but I think if you can find tickets for your littles, and your parents or your in-laws to do something together that's meaningful, that's already been prepaid, you're really nailing the Christmas spirit, right? You're giving them the opportunity to spend time with the little loves that they just want to snuggle up and eat all the time. And you're structuring it around like a specific time and day. So some suggestions might be like, we have a local children's museum. Um, that's wonderful. We have close by to us like we have Billy Bees where we had Callie's birthday party. Um, that would depend on how active your grandparent might be in this case. Um, we have Sky Zone, maybe it's to the movies. Um, maybe it's to like a Disney on ice, like a show. It depends on how young and your, the age of your little kids. But I think giving this experience that they would have without you Right. Yes, it's definitely a break for you. You get to be like, we I'm doing what I want for these couple of hours. But that one on one time between the grandparent and the child is so valuable and important. And if you can stage these experiences for them, I, I think you're really you're doing a service for both your child, but also for the people who love them. So and of course, that gift is not exclusive to grandparents, but I find that like my parents and my in-laws are always looking to do something with Callie that isn't like giving her a toy or buying her a dress or buying her a book. Like they want to physically do something with her that's meaningful. So those are my top three suggestions. If you can do something with photos and I highly recommend Naveo, super high quality, easy to use, and you get a free month. So worth the trial, right? That's below. I recommend something snuggly, cozy, and warm. You could even make it a basket and include like their favorite tea or hot cocoa, maybe some homemade cookies or biscuits or something, um, chocolates, etc. 
And then my third is thinking about some type of experience. Um, a cooking class comes to mind, just something that they could do together. So the full blog post as well as the holiday gift guide are linked below. I really hope this was helpful for you. We'll be doing more coming soon. Um, and I hope that you're having an incredible kickoff to this holiday season. I will see you in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a magical day. Bye.